Anti-static properties are desired by the industrial protective market to eliminate the risk of explosions due to static discharge, especially for polyester-based composite manufacturers. Hello everyone, I'm Hendrik, Technical Engineer at Oxial. Welcome to the Tubal Product and Solution channel. In this video, I will show you how to create an anti-static new generation gel coat with the help of single wall carbon nanotubes. One surface resistivity levels of gel coats or other resin based composites is in the range of 10 to the 6 to 10 to the 9 ohm square. They can be used to prevent the accumulation of static charge. Apart from the protective benefits, it also offers others advantages. Anti static coating can stop the surface of attracting dust, which would else lead to defects in your composite surface or to shorter working cycles due to the longer uh, mold preparation times. Tubal Matrix is an anti-static additive. It is a concentrate based on single wall carbon nanotube which built a conductive three-dimensional network in your composite. In comparison with typically used additives such as carbon black or ammonium salts, Tubal provides a much more stable level of resistivity. It also allows you to produce gel coats with all kinds of different colors, also uh, bright colors are possible, and it can be applied with standard spraying procedures. All these qualities, coupled with the ultra low dosages you use to get the required resistivity level, make Tubal a better alternative compared to typically used additives. So now let's take the most popular base resin, a polyester resin, and implement Tubal Matrix 204, which was specifically designed for gel coats inside of such a formulation. Tubal Matrix 204 is a flaky black material, which is very easy to handle. You can add it straight to your uncured polyester resin. Please have a look at our processing guidelines to make sure that you get the best dispersion quality inside of your system. In short, this includes using the right propeller blade, volume ratio and container form, the mixing speed as well as the mixing time. We recommend using a two-step dilution process. In the first step, we do a pre-mix with 2-8% of uh, tubal matrix inside of your resin and then dilute it down to the needed 0.1 to 0.8% of tubal matrix against the total formulation. With these tubal concentration, the polyester system has already gained anti-static properties. However, in an attempt to increase conductivity, you need to apply a higher dosage of tubal matrix. In this case, at higher tubal matrix loadings, you might see an increase of your uh, viscosity of your resin. So the first step to optimize the formulation is to find the minimal loading level of tubal matrix, which still gives you your required resistivity level. In some gel coats applications, such as spraying application on vertical surfaces, you will need a specific tixotropic index. In this case, you need to optimize the tixotropic properties of your system. There's one way to achieve this if you can build your gel coat formulation from scratch. Fume silica is typically used as a filler to tune the tixotropic behavior of your system. Our internal research show that fillers with mesh sizes between one to five microns or less can insulate the tubal nanotubes, which then results in a decrease of your conductive properties. So we recommend using fillers with larger particle sizes to make sure that you get the lowest resistivity level at the lowest tubal matrix dosage. Also try to reduce the loading level of your tixotropic additive to get lower resistivities. As you can see from the graph, already an addition of 0.58% fumed silica or more led to a quick rise in your resistivity. But depending on the tubal matrix dosage, this effect can be limited and acceptable. To solve the complicated part to get at one point conductive properties and yet on the other hand specific tixotropic index, it is important to optimize and find the right balance between tubal matrix loadings and tixotropic additive. We recommend to increase the tubal matrix to a full loading and decrease the amount of tixotropic additive you have in your formulation to get the right balance between conductivity and resistivity. A further important advantage of the use of tubal are the color opportunities that you can achieve. You can receive a whole range of colors, even bright colors are possible. So now let's summarize the most important parts of this video. First, using the good uh, equipment as well as reading the processing guidelines. Then, reducing the level of uh, tubal matrix in your system, which still gives you your required resistivity. The third part was using um, tixotropic additives with larger fraction sizes so that you get the lowest level of resistivity. And the last point was finding the balance 
between tubal matrix loadings and tixotropic additive, um, which gives you the benefits of conductivity as well as tixotropy. If you would like to clarify the optimization guidelines or you have specific questions for your case, please have a look at our website tubal.com or contact your local Oxel representative. I hope you found this video useful. If you would like to have more information, please have a look at our other videos on the Tubal Products and Solution channel, also about conductive gel coats. Thank you for your time and interest. If you liked the video, please like and subscribe and see you next time.